Bombshell claims are coming to light on the anniversary of a verdict that really shocked the nation. O.J. Simpson's former fixer out with a new documentary telling ABC Action News reporter Michael Poluska who killed Nicole. The documentary named Who Killed Nicole is nearly two hours long, all of it based on Norman Pardo's opinion about what he thinks happened based on his evidence. He claims that several people were involved in the planned murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. Some of them, he says, were well-known celebrities in their day. All of them are dead except for one man. The guy who, who was confessed to doing it was Glenn Rogers, who's in, he's in Rayford Prison right now. They called him also the cross-country killer and Casanova killer. Pardo, who was part of OJ's inner circle in the late 90s, says that OJ was with Glenn Rogers during the murders. Rogers is a convicted serial killer now on Florida's death row. This isn't really that much about OJ as much as it's about me finding closure with some other people that died that had no reason to die. You know, this guy, Glenn Rogers, claimed to have killed 70 people. In the documentary, Pardo makes a lot of claims about how Rogers is involved in the murder. But he is not the first person to suggest Rogers is the killer. A documentary by Investigative Discovery in 2012 did too. In that version, Rogers' brother claims that his brother painted Nicole's house and killed her and Ron. Pardo makes the same case and alleges that police knew about Rogers but didn't pursue it further. Pardo says the files proving all of that are sealed. In the end, Pardo is presenting his evidence and wants the viewer to decide. If they don't believe it, they don't believe it. If they believe it, they believe it. It doesn't matter to me. But they need to see all of the documents and they need to decide for themselves, could this have happened this way? In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.